Hello, my name is Jack and welcome to my series of quick tutorials about how to use Code Trigger plugin within Visual Studio 2012. This one's about generating a sample WinForms application from a Microsoft sample database Northwind. A quick look at the SQL Server Northwind database it looks like it does straight out of the box so we're going to base our tutorial on this so in Visual Studio 2012 we have Code Trigger plugin installed here under the tools menu so we'll open that up and we'll use the wizard to start a new project so let's call it demo win forms project and we'll set the location and we'll choose the wizard to use and in this case db to winforms application and we want it in the Visual Studio 2012 format we click next we select our data source which is a SQL server database we put in the connection string, string details test that connection and we're good to go so we hit create and code trigger goes to the database and examines the schema and comes back with a list of entities that it finds there um, it gives us the option to select which ones we want to use. So let's go for categories and products and move on to the next tab. At this point, Code Trigger builds a, a, a business domain layer um, representation of the entities that it's found in the database and gives us the options, um, also showing us the relationships between them. So in this case, we're interested in categories um, we're also interested in products um, so we'll select that but we can see the products has got foreign key relationship with the supplier uh, entity so we best select that um, and also we would say that in any drop down list rather than show us showing us the supplier ID that we'd rather have contact name instead of showing us category ID we'd rather have category name of course there's a foreign key relationship here with the category table we've already selected that so at this point we're good to go so we'll hit generate code uh, and this time it's taken us 0 0.39 seconds uh, to generate all the code that we need for this fully fledged running application it's also left us with a um, a thing to do here which it turns out to be uh, a simple copy and paste job. So let's look at the project and uh, Visual Studio 2012 solution that Code Trigger plugin has generated for us um, on our file system. And if we go in there, we can see the other files, the project files, the solution files, etc., that have all been generated for us by the plugin. So let's open up that solution and have a quick look at the files that have been generated for us. This is a products, the old products file. Um, we can see all the comments. And, uh, it's it's fully fledged. It's um, fully implemented, and so on. Now, of course, we had a thing to do here, which suggested to us, which is to copy this line. Uh, two lines and paste them into our main window constructor. So when we look for our main window constructor, that looks like this one. So we'll put that in there. And we're ready to roll. So we hit start and sit back 
watch this code build and here we have the application that's been generated for us so it's a WinForms application we can do a search for categories in which case we get nine results coming back and here's a list of um, results that the application has brought back from the database we can do a filter on that search and say show us all the categories that start with C and the category name we'll get two results back um, we can remove that filter and get all the results back we can say uh, that we want to edit this say for example and uh, change that to lamb um, we can update that yes and we update that now we can search for all that begin with L and we'll get one result back so this is our fully functional application we can also go into here look at that drop down list and you can see that the supplier drop down list is populated not by supplier IDs but by nice and friendly supplier names as we requested um, and so there we have it uh, in a matter of minutes we generated a fully working WinForms application from the database using code trigger plugin for Visual Studio 2012.